Hey guys, it's Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over a shortcut for drawing Lewis structures. So this shortcut only works if your compound is neutral. If you look at these examples that we're going to work through, notice that they don't have any charges. Uh, if you see something with a charge like positive 2 or, or negative 1 or just anything with a charge, you can't use this the shortcut and then you have to use the longer technique, which uh, you can find in my other video about how to draw loose structure and I'll link that in the description below. But as, if you can use the shortcut, this, this is it. It's honk1234 halogen. So honk1234 halogen 1. And this just tells you how many bonds these elements like to form. Hydrogen likes to form one bond, oxygen two, nitrogen three, carbon four, and then the halogens like to form one bond. Um, the halogens are just the elements in this column right here, like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. That's the shortcut, so let's take a look at how to apply this to the example. So we have to draw the Lewis structure for each of these compounds. We'll start with the first one, H2CO. Well, we know that carbon is always going to be in the middle, so I'll put carbon, and hydrogen likes to form one bond. So we'll attach the two hydrogens with one bond. And we also have an oxygen, and it tells us that oxygen likes to form two bonds. So then we'll just double bond to oxygen, and you can see that makes carbon happy because carbon has four bonds in total, um, and it wants four bonds. And then the last thing we have to do is just add the lone pairs. Oxygen right here has two four electrons, but it wants eight because it wants to fulfill, fulfill the octet rule, so we'll add two more lone pairs. Next one, CO2. We know that carbon, again, once it's in the middle, uh, and we're going to have the two oxygens around the carbon. Each of the oxygens going to want a double bond, so double bond here, double bond here. That makes the oxygen happy because they have double bonds, and that also make the carbon happy because the carbon, you can see, has four bonds, and it wants four bonds. And then the last thing we have to do, add the lone pairs, add the two lone pairs on the oxygen and the two lone pairs on the oxygen, so it has a total of four things, or eight, bond, eight electrons around it. All right, next one, HCN. HCN, we're going to put H, C, and then N. H likes to form one bond. Nitrogen likes to form three bonds. And then we just add the lone pairs to, to make uh, the nitrogen have an octet. And that's the Lewis structure for HCN. Next one, CF2, Cl2. So again, once again, carbon is in the middle. And we have F and fluorine and chlorine, which are halogens. Halogens like to form one bond. So we're just going to have the F's, as well as the Cl's single bonded to the carbon. And we do this as such so then the carbon can have the, the four bonds. Uh, if, we did, if we did this instead, notice that the carbon only has three bonds and then we actually made the halogen have two bonds. In reality, they, they only want one bond. So move that back over here. And then the last thing is just to add lone pairs such that all the atoms have uh, an octet. So we're going to add three lone pairs to each of the halogens. So then they can have two, two, four, six, eight, each of them. Okay, next example, C2HF. So we have two carbons. We know that both carbons are going to be in the middle. Um, we have we have an H, so we'll just single bond one of the H's here, and then and then now we have to think about we have an F, and then it also likes to form single bonds. So this is where you have to play around with it a little bit. Um, let's say we put the F here. We put the F here to make it such that the carbon has four bonds. It's impossible for me to make the carbons have four bonds, because then I would have to add four bonds like this to make this carbon happy, but we know that no single atoms can form four bonds with another uh, another atom. So what we're going to have to do is make, make the F attach to the carbon on the right. And so that way the H's have one bond, the halogens have one bond, and then to make it such that each of the carbons have uh, four bonds, we can just make it put a triple bond around the, the carbon. So that way you can see each carbon has four bonds, the H has one, and then the halogen has one. And then we just add the lone pairs such that the halogens have an octet. Uh, next one, C6H6. And this is telling that it's going to be in a ring. So that means the carbons are all going to be in a ring together. So this, we'll just attach all the carbons, the six carbons, in a ring like this. Um, and then it says that we have six hydrogens, so then each of the, each of the carbons will have a hydrogen. And then the last thing we have to do is we have to add the lone, add the bond, so then that carbon has four bonds. Because you can see that each carbon currently has three bonds. We we'll have a double bond right here, so then both of these has four, right? One, two, three, four. And then this one also has one, two, three, four. Uh, this one currently only has three, one, two, three, so we need to add a double bond right here such that both of these will have four. And then if you look at this one, 
this carbon also has one, two, three, so we have to make a double bond between these two carbons such that both the carbons now have one, two, three, four, and this one, one, two, three, four. Okay, and let's take a look at one last example. This one, this one that looks a little long and intimidating. C H two C L C H two O C O O H. Um, so if you get a, a long Lewis structure or a long form like this, it's written as such is to help you. It's uh, it's written in this way to just tell you what's attached to what. So we'll start the carbon on the left, and this carbon is attached to two hydrogens. We know that hydrogen likes to form single bonds, so single bond, single bond. Uh, it's attached to a, the carbon is also attached to a halogen, and we know this halogen likes to form one bond. So I can't make it like this, because then you can see that the Cl would form uh, two bonds. So that means the Cl would have to be attached to a carbon, so it only formed one bond. So then we just clear this part. Then moving on to the next element, this carbon is going to be attached to another carbon, and this carbon has two H's coming off of it. And H's like to form single bonds. And then next we have an oxygen that's attached to this carbon, and then that oxygen is attached to another carbon. And oxygen is able to do this because oxygen likes to form two bonds. And you can see that it has two bonds right here. Uh, and then next we have this carbon that's attached to OOH. Um, so if you see COOH, that's just indication that's a carboxylic acid. So one, you're going to get two O's that are attached to the, the carbon. And then lastly, one of the H's will be attached to the O's. Um, and then we just have to make it such that this O has a double bond because it currently has a single bond. So we'll add a second bond right here. And you can see that each O has two bonds and then the carbon has the four bonds that it wants. And then lastly, we just add the lone pairs on to the oxygen to make it such that everything has an octet. And that's, a, that's the shortcut for drawing loose structures when you're dealing with compounds that are neutral. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.